Hey guys, finally sleeps here. Earlier in the week, I posted on YouTube and Discord that I was putting together an end-all video on fishing and asked if you had any questions. I received a shit ton of questions. I'm going to try to answer everything I got here in this video. If you're not willing to spend coins and wait a while to get back your investment before you start making coins, this isn't for you. I, so many people say, I, I bought this player. How, when can I sell it? When can I sell it? When can I sell it? Dude, shouldn't have bought the player. If you're worried about when you can sell it, you shouldn't have bought the player. For those that are ready, though, this is a worthwhile means to millions of coins. Not just over time, but overnight, eventually. And then perpetually. A million coins a day? Sure, it's not that hard. Two million per day? Why not? Ten million per day? Absolutely. Hell, 500 million coins overnight is possible with this method. Not every day, obviously, but when the stars align, hell yes, it's possible. We did it more than once last season. It's going to take a while to claim all this stuff. We're starting at zero. And 727 million. 727. Damn, now we gotta spend all that money. The reason I call it fishing, and that's with an F and not a PH, it's, it's like literal fishing, it's not like fishing the scam. We're putting lines into the market and searching for those cards. For, that are experiencing an increase in value or a spike. We put one on the line as bait and we toss it into the lake, which is all fine. And yeah, you might catch something with one pole in the water, but this is fishing in bulk. This is gorilla fishing. You're putting lines in the water all over the damn lake so you never miss a spot that's biting. Now, by doing this, we're not affecting the values in the market, unlike bot manipulation. We're not manufacturing an increase in value by corrupting the community with fake investments or manufacturing an increase in value by buying cards to raise that value. We're just looking for natural increases in value due to the nature of the market. Now, here's how it works. The bot is buying player, let's say it's buying X amount of Y player over Z minutes. Now, it changes, you know, uh, many factors change that, but those are the three factors, X, Y, and Z. Now, I need to make sure I have Y player in the market 24 hours a day, so I'm always an option for the bot. When the bot comes up with a bag of cheeseburgers like that base head menace to society trying to trade me a bag of cheeseburgers for a hit, I'm going to take the cheeseburgers. I don't want to hear his next offer. No. In fact, if you're in such dire need for your, you know, hit, then here, I'll give you the rest of my player Y. Uh, I have in my reserve, because I probably have six or seven more, I'll gladly get you back on track. That's what I'm telling the bot, and I'm taking his cheeseburgers. That's what fishing is. Here's how it works. You pick an OVR. It can be any OVR. That part doesn't matter. Except be aware that the higher the OVR, the longer, lower the value on X, and the higher the value on Z in the X amount of Y player over Z minutes. You might have to write that down to understand exactly what I said. Pick an OVR that it's experiencing low values and buy all that you can. Considering there are a lot of players in any one OVR, for example, there are 749 different base 68s in FIFA Mobile currently. You need a lot to cover all your bases. You can't just buy 250 and expect it to work. A thousand players of a single OVR is a baseline. You can fish with less, but more is obviously better. Next, you're going to list one of each of those players you just bought on a 24-hour cycle, just in case the bot needs any of them. Then you wait. 
If during that 24 hour period, the bot buys any of your players, he's obviously in need of more. And yes, I've just decided the bot has a penis. He is a he. Once a player sells, go to your reserves and list a duplicate at the suggested price on a four hour cycle. Wait a few minutes and then list another. Feed the bot slowly in exchange for that bag of cheeseburgers. That's a spike in the market occurring naturally that you just found and filled the void for the market bot. You're doing a service. Now, after the 24 hour period ends and your players all time out, relist them all the exact same way. One of each player, just in case the bot needs one. Simple enough. <laughs>